Good day to you, my Aries friends. Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead uh, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you very much for clicking here. Um, just letting you know that I do have uh, 10 spots available currently um, in uh, my international um, private reading area. So that is Wisio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. If you are Canadian, please just uh, send me an email and uh, I will get that uh, done up for you. We'll make uh, contact and find out what we can do. All right, so retrograde, right? Mercury is out of retrograde. Please don't get too, too excited. We do know that uh, Mercury uh, retrograde is done, but we will feel this energy for probably the next uh, couple of weeks anyway. So, wow. And the cards are talking already. Look at that. So we're just going to go into a pre-shuffle here, I guess, Aries. That's what I'm being told. So, um, yeah, the universe wants you to know that um, I feel like you, you can stop this worry. Yeah, you can stop this worry. I feel like this worry is coming to an end because I just saw the Ten of um, Swords here. Oh, you're worried. It's not, it's not, it's not so much that you want something to come to an end. You're worried about some sort of a, a love connection here. That's what your worry is. You can't sleep at night, Aries. I don't know if you're worrying or you just can't stop thinking about this person. It's like over and over and over, almost to an obsessive point. I feel like you have a lot. A lot. <laughs> okay, I don't know who you are, but you have a lot of love for this person. You do. Your energy is big. Holy man. Yeah, you love this person a lot. Uh, they could be an air sign. They could also be a water sign. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Well, let's do it, Aries. It sounds like the cards need to speak to you for a moment. So we're just going to ask for anything that is of the highest good uh, for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is a reading for the Collective. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please be responsible with your reading. Never make any big decisions based on general reading. All right. Well, something is taking a while, it looks like. The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Something is bringing up the rear here. I feel like um, this slow energy is about to get a little quicker here. And, um, oh, that's why, because you're walking away. All right, so um, you're either walking away from uh, an emotional relationship that you have um, that is not necessarily satisfying you. It could be with a, an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I feel like you're walking away from that earth sign. Um, it's not been making you happy. I think that it's been okay, but it's recently gotten really bad with, with backbiting, and I feel like there's someone talking behind your back. I feel like someone is trying to sabotage you in some sort of way. Someone has some bad energy about you. Someone... Um, yeah, this person here. I feel like this person who, they don't have to be an air sign. I don't know who this is for you, but you will know who this is, Aries. There is someone who would rather see you walk away from a situation than fight it. Yeah. I think it's the, I think it's the person who is the earth sign that would rather you walk away than fight it. Yeah, whatever you're hearing is not making you happy. Not at all. You're manifesting something here. And I think it's about to it's about to kick off here. It's okay. That's what you don't see. That's under under here. Felt like it was important to do that. I don't usually, you guys, as a regular part of a reading, but alright. So what do we got here? We've got the Empress, Major Arcana, right? We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. We've got the Six of Wands, um, and that is in the upright. We've got the Nine of Wands in the upright. Um I feel like the Empress is silent right now. And I feel like the Empress doesn't have a lot of clarity with you, Aries. Um, I feel like there is somebody who could be Taurus and Libra or Taurus or Libra or have either one in their chart. I feel like this person... Um, this person wants victory with you, but they don't know that they can get through your walls. That's what it is. Those are some pretty freaking high walls you've built here. 
Whew. Let me just feel the energy for a moment. Yes, okay. So we have an empress here who is not clear on what is going on. I feel like, I want to say muddy. Is that what the word is, muddy? Yeah, what I'm seeing is like a bog, like in Louisiana or something where crocs live and stuff. Yeah, it's like a bog. I feel like it's it's like a bog or a fog maybe. Like you can't see under the water, but you can't, and if the fog comes in, you can't see, you know, down your driveway. So either way, I feel like the Empress is experiencing bog or fog about this connection with you because there is there is victory on the way, but she can't see it you understand she what's in between um the empress and victory with you aries is is this here and so the the empress doesn't see you coming yeah well if she's watching this <laughs> reading or he's watching this reading they will find out about you <laughs> but um what i feel like is going on here is that the empress can't see the victory coming and so i feel like the victory is coming but i feel like the empress is really putting up her walls i feel like for starters aries you also have walls but i feel for you aries it's more as though these are wounds people actions people have taken against you like you you really truly are the wounded warrior is what i heard truly the wounded warrior that's exactly what i heard so um i feel like the that you and your empress are both in this energy she has maybe got her walls up or he um and you um are wounded you are a wounded warrior you're someone who's gone through your life and has been wounded over and over and over again by other humans so i feel like there is sort of a victory coming here but i think not only are you taking in your own junk but you're going to run into some high walls too yeah i feel like you're I feel like there's a reason that the Empress can't see what's going on. Maybe it's just that you're not ready yet. But I feel like I feel like it's a little more serious here, Aries, than just um, wanting to take someone out for coffee. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little it's a little more serious than that. Like I feel like this Ace of Swords energy here. I feel like is the separation between the two of you. I feel like it's 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 foggy and boggy and there's not much clarity and I think it's that way for a reason. I think there's something coming, I'm sorry, so something that you um, are bringing to the Empress. Let's, let's uh, pull some more cards here. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Thank you. So we've got somebody dropping some burdens here. Dropping burdens. And I think the reason where you're going to be able to drop the burdens is because of this conversation with the Empress. I feel like when you do finally get to this conversation, because I see you charging in here, Aries, when you do finally get to this conversation uh, and communication, I feel like um, whatever is said between you and this Empress is what's going to help you drop these burdens. I feel like the two of you are going to cut through those, all of the, all 10 of those wands, right? I feel like once these are gone, then all the only other option is to move forward, and that is to the Ace of Wands. So then there's passion that grows here between you. So um, I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like you have an energy of wanting to do this right now, but really wanting to know that there is divine timing, right? You don't want to screw it up. You feel like you have one chance and that you should go in the right way the first time. Yeah. Some of you are already in this situation, but it, the situation for you feels more serious. And now you want to go to your empress and say, look, <laughs> yeah, you want to rush in and say, look, I think I'm about to make a decision about dropping all of these burdens from the past to be with you. Could you help me, you know, drop these burdens? Could you help me? And I think that when you do help, when this person does help you, I feel like the burdens are dropped and then you can carry on. But I feel like the burdens are almost carried by both of you. Like I feel the same energy off the, um, the Empress as I feel off of the Six of Wands. So I feel like a lot of people watch the Empress 
Aries, I feel like you watch the Empress. I feel like you have a really good group of either a soul tribe or a love tribe of some sort, friends that you can really count on. And I feel like um, you want to make sure that everything is perfect before you allow the clarity for this uh, Empress, because I think you just want everything to go off without a hitch, I think. Yeah, I think you have the intention of, of looking at this person as your long-term person, your long-term partner. Uh, we have the Magician and the Sun. Wow, you are manifesting huge. <laughs> You're manifesting huge, huge things. So what I feel is you have a good feeling about making this decision. To you, this is the right thing to do. You know that you can go in right now and this Empress would probably invite you in because that's what an Empress would do, right? She, she'd definitely give you water for the drive or the, or the uh, walk or whatever you had to do to get to her. <laughs> She definitely invite you in. Um, but I'm just saying that I think that um, the what you've been manifesting here is something that the Empress doesn't understand. The Empress, I don't think, can see this energy. She doesn't really know this energy. I feel like she's kind of boxed in by these, these burdens that she's carrying about not being able to see you and not being able to... Um, to be with you because um, I feel like the same energy is here. I feel like this person's, you know, I feel like you, Aries, are the person who people come to. You are the leader. They follow you just because they follow you, that you're the person who takes action and, you know, is helping, always helping others. I feel like the victory is in, uh, for you, is in doing the work, but, you know, the the other side of that coin is that you do get adoration for it. I feel like your empress is in that same situation in her life or his life. I feel like, um, you know, depending on whether you're masculine or feminine or which one you lean to, because we all have both masculine and feminine energy. So I feel like with the Empress that this Empress, I feel, is at the same, is in the same situation that you are in that people watch her. She brings growth. She helps people. She's kind. She's uh, creative. She helps people in their creations as well. So I think that you two are really well matched. Now, I think while she's bogged down by this bog and this fog here, which I think is in the Ace of Swords. Um, now, I don't know why I'm saying these words, bogs and fogs, but I've, I've seen them in my mind's eye. So I feel like they have to be said. So um, um, I feel like uh, that she's kind of boxed in feeling... Um, yeah, feeling like she wished that things could have moved forward to the Ace of Wands, but she feels like she can't see anything or, or hear anything. There's no real action to be taken here except to drop these wands. So I don't think she sees this energy. I don't think she understands what you're manifesting here, because what I see under the surface here is... Yeah, smarty pants. Yeah, you're you're planning something under the surface here, right? You're you've been manifesting this happiness, this good decision that you've been manifesting to go in and kind of surprise this person. And it feels like it's going to be in a gallant sort of way. Yeah. I feel like this it's going to be some sort of a gallant sort of way. When I say gallant, I mean I'm I'm in my 50s, so to me gallant is like, you know, showing up with a bottle of wine or some flowers or, you know, something like that. I'm not talking like anything that's crazy off the chain. <laughs> I want to put an expectation on you. Expectations are the dream killer. <laughs> All right. So Aries, yeah. This is what your empress doesn't know, yeah, is that you've been manifesting the heck out of this whole situation and that the sun it's helped you make good decisions. Now, that being said, I feel like somebody here might have had an aha moment because I feel like with the magician and the sun that you re realize for the first moment in time that you really do have everything you need in order to go forward, that you are everything that you need to go forward. Yeah, I think that you found a new self-worth and I think it's given you some sort of a confidence that you feel as though you can kind of just get it done. You can just jump in the vehicle or get on the horse or whatever it is that whatever way it is for you to get to to your person. I mean, it could be that uh, you're across the water, but I don't think so. I think you're probably within flight or driving access. Actually, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I feel like you, you have um, already manifested the dropping of these burdens because I see a wand up in the hand here and these ones are about to be dropped and are going to turn into the ace of wands which is brand new passion right okay let's take a look well okay 
I was going to use those ones, but I'm told to use these ones. <laughs> All right then, fine. All right, so let's take a look at some of this Aries and see what's going on here. Now, I, I have been known to extend here and there, depending on whether we have all the information or not. So if I feel like this needs to go into an extended reading, then I will do that for you. All right, let's take a look here. So I feel uh, the wounded warrior here is someone who is still kind of closed off. Now, um, I think that the wounded warrior is you. I think that you have, yeah, you've been through a lot in your life. Yep, for sure. Um, I feel like that um, you're a good decision maker, but that you feel your decisions are too hasty. That's what I feel from, from the Knight of Wands. You feel like once you get the, the positive answer or you get the positive affirmation or whatever it is that you're looking for, that you jump into, you know, fight or flight mode and you have an aha moment, right? These two here are kind of an aha moment because this, this person here has all the tools and this person here has the apex card. So the two of those are going to... Um, create some butterfly effect. Yeah, that's what I just heard, butterfly effect. So it's like there is a ripple, <laughs> a ripple in, yeah, that, that you end up feeling. Or a ripple, no, a ripple that you make. Okay, understood. So the ripple comes from here. It ripples into the lives of, so what I guess I'm saying is I think that your empress understands that you're on the way. Because I feel like you are intuitive. You've come to an aha moment. I feel like you have a higher self. You are someone who is also in the 5D, you know, in the 3D, 4D, 5D, um, whenever you want to be. So I feel like you, yeah, I feel like your person is intuitive enough to know, intuitive enough to know, because the, that's what the Empress is. She is highly intuitive. She's intuitive enough to know that um, should she drop these burdens that she can have access to this energy as well. Yeah. So I think that your ripple is going to cause the um, Empress to drop her burdens as well and maybe even drop her walls. So why do we have walls? Why does the Empress have walls, please? Because there is some worry, maybe a little bit of depression or anxiety, but I feel like it's worry, worried about balance. Okay, oops, too many, I'll put those back. Um, so I feel like with the two of pentacles, yeah, I feel like you're you're worried that you won't be able to keep your financial balance here. Okay, so maybe your walls are don't really have anything to do with um, well, that the Empress's walls don't really have much to do with you, Aries. I feel like this is just... Oh, okay, there you are. <laughs> okay, wrong-o, yeah. Every once in a while, the uh, universe will say, ah, you're, you're, you're just going a little bit too quick. Yeah, so here we go, um, the lovers. So the universe is like, no, it's true. There's going to be, you know, there's, there's going to be some energies that are rattled here because I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like you're going in to tell this person that you think that they are your... Um, that they are your soulmate or your twin flame. Now, I don't know that you know what either one of those mean, but, you know, um, the some of you will, some of you who are with me regularly, but I feel like um, with the, um, if you think it's a soulmate, the soulmate is someone that you will meet in a lot of people. You'll have a lot of soulmates across your lifetime. But if you have a twin flame, it is only one person that is yours. And so I don't know that you know that this person is your twin flame, but you do suspect that this person is your soulmate or have a deep soul connection. Because I feel like it goes back for lifetimes. I feel like um, that you guys could have been maybe in the same family or in the same town. I feel like it was like, I don't know, it was... Uh, <laughs> Okay. I just, uh, I'm looking in my mind's eye. Um, my guides are giving me a picture of, uh, some of you are going to get this reference and some of you won't. It's Little House on the Prairie, the little store in Little House on the Prairie. Yeah, I feel like um, that there is... Um, yeah, I feel like this, I feel like maybe somebody came to the store and you saw them regularly, Aries. And I feel like 
maybe nothing happened. Maybe it was just friendship um, or you guys got to be really, you know, the best of friends or family friends. But I feel like that is the, um, the kind of age or era that you two might have been in touch with each other. Wow. Okay. Alrighty then. So what kind of decision was it? That is making you so happy, Aries. What is the decision? Oop. There we go. That's the decision. So you've made a decision about some sort of serious or um, traditional relationship that you're uh, looking forward to. You've made, I think you're looking at making a decision about that. I feel like you think it's a great idea. Um, this person could be... Uh, your person could, of course, be anybody who's on the table here. We've got fire, we've got the Hierophant, which is Taurus, we've got water, which is uh, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, we've got some Libra, Aquarius, um, uh, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, more swords there. The Magician is Aries, and the Sun is Leo, so um, the Hierophant is Taurus. So I feel like... Um, you are you are about to make a decision either involving a Taurus, involving your higher self, or a deep, um, a deep deep connection, a deep um, spiritual connection here. So I feel like you look favorably on this connection with this person, no matter who they are. And um, I feel as though with the uh, Six of Swords here that when you do meet this person, you want to take them away with you. But I feel especially that when you're in this person's energy, that you feel like the chaos is gone. You feel as though it's calm and everybody's thinking logically and I, I just don't feel like this person gives you a lot of stress and I think you're coming from yeah a lot of stress this person helps you grow um, this person helps you grow and they also they're also really really a good cheerleader I feel like this person has always been like yeah you can do anything pick any one of these you can do anything Aries what are you doing yeah, I feel like this person watched you grow as they encouraged you. So that tells me that, oh, okay, yeah, that tells me you guys know each other. Yeah, it's not just somebody. It is a person, your person, that you feel is your... Yeah, well, we know that, that there's um, some sort of a link, a, a life before this. And so I feel like this person ends up being your cheerleader because you guys seems feel so familiar to each other. Yeah. You feel each other's energy and, and it feels familiar. I feel like you guys have something in common and that's that you're both scared of growth. Yeah, that you're both scared of growth. But more than that, I think you're scared of not growing enough. So I think there's, it's all kind of around growth. But what I want you to know, Aries, is that your person is having the same exact problems as you. I wouldn't call them problems. I would call them, you know, things that you need to work out, right? Things that you need to have a better perspective on. But I feel like in the moon energy, you don't know what to do about it yet. Yeah, I feel like there's some healing involved here between the two of you, which tells me there may have been some sort of a rift or something in this life. Um, but I feel like with the, uh, the Four of Swords, I'm picking up on somebody wants to heal so they can, I feel like you want to repay is what I want to say. Walking away. So I feel like, Aries, you're walking away from, from all the other opportunities. I feel like you, you are here you are healing or you're healed. And I feel like you end up walking away from this stagnant energy too. We've got the hangman in reverse. The hangman comes out of sacrifice here. Sacrifice mode. Walking away from sacrifices because you're no longer in love. It's become a burden. Okay. All right. So it turns out that, yeah, I understand now why you're thinking about someone else because you just got out of something that ended up being a burden. And now I understand why you're being very careful about this whole thing. Yeah, it seems very careful. It's like you can't, you know, your person can't really see you manifesting down here, which tells me that there is some sort of a distance between you. Yeah, that you might be a couple of hours away from each other, maybe across the country. I don't think it's overseas, but I think it's across the country. It doesn't feel watery to me. It feels more um, stuck to the ground, standard grounded. Yeah, that's what it feels like. All right. Tell me what burdens need to be dropped here. 
Oh, is it a burden? Are you single? Oh, okay, you, you're regretful that things didn't take off sooner. Yeah, I feel like you're regretful. You want to try this new path and passion. I feel like the good news is, is that you do want to try again. The good news is, is that you do have some regrets that you have become uh, single or are becoming single Aries. And um, whether you're single or not, I feel like there is... Um, I feel like you have a lot of passion and uh, good news for this empress that I feel like you're going to be seeing sometime in the future. All right, so you know what, you guys? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the extended. We've already uh, burned up 25 minutes here, so I'm going to go into the extended. If you'd like to come there with us and see the rest of this, I am going to look at uh, a time frame on when somebody's coming in because this is kind of, you know, someone who's sort of jumping in their car willy-nilly and thinking about what they're going to say on the way over. So someone who's made an instant decision. I'd really be interested to know what the manifestations are um, on your uh, Empress's side and, um, you know, what the victory is that you want. And we're going to look at these um, these decisions that you have to make regarding running in. Yeah, we've got both of these cards here, right? Look at that. Holy smokes. we got to look into that energy and find out when things are going down. I'm going to see what kind of a timeline we can get. And uh, yeah, so if you want to come over there, that's where we will be. And uh, if this is where we um, uh, part, that's okay. I will see you again next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, Aries. Thank you. Bye-bye.